I'm just going to uh, scroll up here and set uh, reset all changes. And that just sort of uh, puts our cloth back the origin here. And then let's um, zoom out here and uh, get our couch involved in this situation. So I'm going to just grab these nodes and drag them off to the left. And then if we look at our cloth constraints right here, you can see that we have these three inputs. The second input is the constraints and the third input input is collision geometry. So what we can do is actually grab our couch and drag it in here and have it act as um, some collision geometry. Now it's not really going to help because our, our cloth is currently underneath our couch. So I'm going to just template the couch right here and let's go up to the grid and throw down a transform. And we're just going to physically reposition the cloth initially um, to be kind of up here over this right arm. So I'm just going to grab it and um, drag it up to the right here. And maybe I'll just give it a little rotation like so. And see how it's kind of intersecting the couch? We don't want that. That'll kind of cause problems for us. So I'm just going to um, grab this and bring it up a little bit. So, so it's just floating above the couch. I could also switch to uh, right click here and say align handle to world. And that will allow me to move this piece independently of its local orientation and just like move it in world space. So that's another handy tool for positioning things is you can kind of switch back and forth and align handle between the object and the world. You can also use the M hotkey to do that, but uh, that, that'll cycle through a couple of these different, different options. I find that object and world alignment are the most handy to me. And uh, yeah, let's just leave it there for right now. And from here, let's go back to our vellum brush now. And you can see that it actually is still storing the position that we had before when we were using it. But if we say you reset all changes again, it's going to update and see that we moved our, our geometry up here and start working with it that way. So now that we have this collision going on, we could actually use this um, live simulation mode that we had before. So let's switch this back to settle and tick on live simulation. And let's turn on gravity as well. Just going to tick the gravity button. You can see our cloth is falling and colliding with our couch like so. So you can see that that's just sort of landing on there and uh, draping over, over the couch. And we can kind of grab it and... Um, influence it. I currently have drag mode set on mine. So you can just kind of grab it and move it so that it kind of drapes along with the couch. Now this is feeling a little bit like there isn't very much friction going on with my cloth right now. So I'd like to actually increase the friction on the couch collider to get it to kind of stick a little bit more and maybe wrinkle a little bit more. So I'm going to, uh, let's say reset all changes. So let's go over to the uh, vellum brush node and check out the forces section. We can actually adjust the uh, friction. Now there's two different types. There's static friction and dynamic scale. So static friction is sort of the threshold at which it's going to cause the cloth to start slipping along the geometry. And then the dynamic scale is how much resistance it's going to experience from the geometry once it starts sliding. So those are two different values, but we're going to just increase the dynamic scale up to something like 0.8. And I'm going to go back to uh, set this to settle and make sure live simulation is ticked and see if we can uh, get this to kind of ruffle with our geometry a little bit better. You can see here we're starting to get a little bit of intersection. So I'm just going to try and grab that and rip that away from the uh, collider. And if, if this does get stuck, sometimes you got to reset it. But it looks like I was able to get mine unstuck right there. And uh, let's go down here and maybe I need a little bit more static friction. I'm just going to increase the static friction to two and then try and grab that now um, and move it around. You'll see that the cloth is going to kind of stick to the couch a lot better. Now, what I'm finding here is that this actually doesn't really feel like a blanket to me. It almost feels like it's too stiff. So what I'm going to end up doing is actually going back to my uh, cloth constraints and making it so it's a little bit more wrinkly. And we can do that by scrolling down here to the bend constraints. You can see here that right now we've got a bend stiffness of one times 0 0.0001. And that's going to set a stiffness value of the cloth to be something very low. But we can actually, from this dropdown, pick different powers of 10 to make it even more even more or less stiff if we wanted to. So here, I'm going to just drop it down by one power of 10. So zero point and then four zeros and a one. So this just drops it down and makes it a little bit less stiff. And then I'm going to go back over here to the vellum brush. And let's scroll up to the top and say reset all changes again. And now what I'm going to do is let's just, I'm just going to grab it and kind of pull it. And you can see now our cloth has a lot more finer wrinkles like this. 
I'm just going to untick live simulation. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of give this like a little pull like that, just so it's kind of arcing around where I want it to kind of fall. And then over here, maybe I'm going to grab this corner to kind of drag it out a little bit in this direction, just because I like to have these nice folds like this that are going to be in the cloth. I could maybe just bring this part in a little bit um, like so, but I really, the main fold that I want is to be like these folds that are going along the cloth in this direction. So now um, I can switch this back to settle and let it kind of drop on top of the cloth like so. And here you can see now we've got these nice wrinkles in our cloth and it's really starting to feel somewhat more like a, a blanket that could be draped over the uh, couch. And so really this is all like crazy. You could We can keep messing with this for forever. Um, and I mean, honestly, this is just about as much fun as... Um, I feel like you can have with a piece of software is playing with this vellum brush and uh, messing around with these cloth simulations. It's just so much fun. But uh, right now, let's um, just call this good for now and we can move on to making some couch cushions. So I'm just gonna untick live simulation just to sort of stop it from doing what it's doing. And I'm just gonna come down here and just freeze it. So I'm gonna use this flag on the node down here in the lower left-hand corner. And that's just gonna freeze the geometry. It says only the first output will be locked and that's cool. And I'll say, okay. And that just more or less means that it's not gonna be doing anything. And we can just sort of commit to this for right now. I'm just gonna kind of cache the geometry into the scene file. 